Hey astrology lovers, it's your astrologer Julia Mikos with Luna and we're here to tell you what to expect from the astrology of February. Now I'm putting out short but sweet horoscopes every month because I've got the attention span of a millennial and if you do too then subscribe to my channel so that you can get the latest cosmic news for your sign. So what's on the cosmic docket for February? Well Mercury, the trickster god, is going retrograde for the first time of the new year and there's a major planetary concentration in Aquarius which is also super charging a new moon, so we can also expect a sexy but feisty Valentine's Day too. So Mercury, the planet of communication and mentation, starts the month retrograde in the sign of Aquarius, and it's going to go direct on the 21st. Retrograde means that a planet is traveling backwards over its path from our perspective on Earth. The medieval astrologer Guido Bonatti said that when planets go retrograde, they become unpredictable. Mercury goes retrograde about three times a year, and it usually does so in the same element. This year, Mercury is going to go retrograde in the air signs, which are Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. And during February's retrograde cycle, you can expect miscommunication with your friends or within groups that you're a part of, as well as lots of technical snafus. That means lost emails and texts, problems with your computer and phone, software, internet outages, and drop Zoom calls. You may be reviewing your friendships as well as your membership in any groups, society clubs, gaming circles, recovery programs, or organizations you're a part of. On February 11th, we've got an electric new moon that's supercharging a stellium of planets in Aquarius. Now, a stellium means that a number of planets are close together and in the same sign. So on this day, we've got the Sun, we've got Moon, Mercury, Venus, Jupiter, and Saturn all together in Aquarius. Oh my! This celestial Aquarian cluster is going to light up one of the houses in your birth chart, so this is going to be a time of new beginnings in your social networks where you may be organizing a group effort. It's not all going to be about you for once, but how you sort of fit in with the team. Now, the astrology of Valentine's Day looks super social, fun, and perhaps a bit too hot to handle. There's a lucky configuration that day because Venus and Jupiter, the two benefics, are kissing each other within two degrees. This is a really, really fun combination, but you could get carried away with all the eating, drinking, toking, spending money, or whatever else you're doing. Mercury is joining in on the celestial three-way, highlighting good conversation for Valentine's Day too. However, we also have a square from Mars and pleasure-loving Taurus, which is going to add some red-blooded passion to the mix. Mars is going to bring some horny vibes, but you also might end up locking horns with your boo. Muy caliente! So hit the subscribe button below so that you can keep in touch with me and Luna, and we're going to let you know about all the important cosmic portents that are happening. Hey Cancer! So Mercury goes retrograde in your 8th house from the start of the month. If you've been researching and investigating something in your personal, professional, or school life, you might need to review your conclusions. You're extra snoopy now because you're fixated on digging deeper on some issue. Just take a step back every now and again because you could be a little too paranoid now. This is also the house of money, so your mind might be preoccupied with your finances that you share with your family or any other transactions you might have with an institution like a bank. The new moon on the 11th is bringing the Aquarian stellium into your 8th house. So this month there's going to be a major focus on your finances, such as joint credit cards, inheritances, mortgages, loans, taxes, and investments. This is the time for some prudent financial planning, so you can really secure your resources. Plus, it would make your dad super proud. The full moon on the 27th is lighting up your 3rd house of siblings, neighbors, and local community too. So you could get a little support from these people in your life. The full moon in Virgo definitely has a I scratch your back, you scratch mine kind of vibe. So get in there and lend a helping hand so you can pay it forward. Venus, the planet of relationships, enters your 8th house of taboos for most of the month. The 8th house is a spooky, trippy, and kinky place, and where we have Venus is where we have a little bit of fun. You could be drawn to the dark side of life, or enjoy being a big ol' freak. Don't worry, friend, because I'm not here to judge you, but I can't speak for everyone else, so make sure you clear your browser history. If you got a partner, then you might go through a crisis together that actually brings you closer. Thanks for watching! If you enjoy my videos, then sign up to my newsletter in the link below, or leave a comment because frankly, Luna and I are running out of things to talk about, and the silence is kind of getting a little bit awkward. So ciao for now!